from England, Mark and Mark, Mark E. Smith and Mark Riley. Thanks for coming in, fellas. It's not right. that easy at this time of the day. Eh? You're, and we'll, we'll get to the, the concert tour in a sec, but I've read things out of the UK, where, like you won the awards for songwriting, band, singer, etc. And I've also read over there that they, that one fellow said that you are still angry and you're the last group in England to be still angry. Would you go along with that statement? Yeah, I think we're the only group that's actually uh, upset about certain things. So you, you, you're speaking your mind through your music? Yeah, I get, I get worse, yeah. <laughs> what are some of the things that you're upset about? Obviously, the unemployment thing over there is, is rotten at the moment. No, it's nothing like that. Don't be so. I don't uh, Are there areas? get political or anything like that. Uh -huh. no. no, it's just a music uh, industry over there that sort of annoys us. Yeah, well, I've also seen some of the crits that they weren't overly nice. Like, uh, yeah. I think one of the guys that was in a well-known band years ago said he thought your record was awful, and other people have said... Jeff yeah, not, yeah, Jeff Beck was in one of those... Uh, well, he can talk, though, can I mean, good. So what do, you, what do you think when they, people like that say those sort of things? It's thing? good. Mm. That's what it's for, to get the backs up of people like that, really, you know. So you're really out there to, to stir things up a little yeah. and play music at the same time. Now here, the other night, you, I think 400 or 500 people were turned away at the first gig you played at in Sydney. Now, I wouldn't have thought that had happened for you. I know you've had albums out and they, they've been played here on certain radio stations, but I didn't think it had happened. Did you expect that? No, not so, no. But, I mean, uh, we're very much a live band. Yeah. You know, it's, not, it's not the same as the records at all. It's the only reason we keep playing. Did you expect that, Mark? I didn't know what to expect, you know. it's. It's different everywhere we go. So what we... ideas had you preconceived about Australia? Uh, none, none at all. Because I doubt any idea, you know. Like it was the same in the States, you don't know what you're going to get, so you find out when you get there. You're just going to the other side of the world, not really knowing what, what's coming yeah, up. What about yourself, man? Yeah, I was, uh, I was surprised. But um, it's, it's a lot more English. It's like, it's yeah. very like home in a lot of ways. Yeah, I thought so. How did Especially you... in the north of England, where we come from. Sorry. How did you uh, go in America? How, how did they accept you? That was okay, yeah. The rave reviews? Good reviews? Good crowds? Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, people went to see us there. I mean, we haven't got big sales in America, you know, but people came out to see us. We're curious. Uh -huh. a, we get a sort of a arouse a lot of curiosity. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's going to happen here. I, I don't think it'll reflect in sales, but uh, I hope it does. You think more so the live? So you obviously yeah. after this one with the stars. There's, like there's a lot of people there the other night just coming to have a look, I think, you know. Yeah. And you're at the Family Inn tonight, aren't you? So that'll be packed. Now, with that sort of thing happening for you, you're going to come back again. Is there a chance you'll be back later this year, or will it have to be 83? Don't know. We don't think about it. Don't make any plans out like that. We don't even know what we're going to do after this, yet. Really? Yeah. Well, I know you're going to We're going to try and go to Germany for the yeah. beer festival. For the beer festival? Will you play there? If we can, if we're capable. <laughs> you recorded a track called Iceland, and I, I believe you did that in Iceland. Yeah, am I correct? Bit, yeah. Did you only go to Iceland to record that one track, or did you go there to do a tour of Iceland? Uh, we did three nights in Reykjavik. Uh -huh. Played three nights, and uh, somebody just bought the studio for us. So, you fellas really don't look ahead and say, hey, we will plan a situation. You're just doing it as it occurs. Yeah. And, and you're happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> Get to see the world, etc. It's great, isn't it? Fantastic. I don't think I've got my, much further to go because they're just happy guys. <laughs> and you're in the country doing well. Have a good stay. We're going to play a little bit of Container Driver. And, uh, oh, I must ask you, I just must ask this before we go to there. Hex Induction Hour is the title of your current album. Right. Why the title and what's it mean? It's a word I made up. You it's made like, it up. Yeah, it's like, a, right. it's like an induction into the fall. Mm -hmm. Because we changed a bit on that LP from the... We did about three or four before that. Yeah. Well, well we did five before that. It's funny, I didn't realise that until the LP came out. The hex means six as well, it? and it is a sixth album. So the sixth Weird. induction hour. And it lasts one hour, the album. Yeah. Go and get it. And if you can, catch them. What states do you do, do you know? Well, I mean, you don't know where you're going, so how would you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're doing the, the three the states on the east. 
<laughs> Try and catch them. The four lovely blokes. Mark and Mark. Thank yeah, you. I'm Let's sure. have a look at this. The container driver. Just portion of it. Then we go to the divinals. 